Hi everybody, my name's Normsk and welcome to My Shed Natters and the Full Guitar. I am a traditional artist, illustrator and caricaturist and this is a blog showing you my journey in the production of a particular caricature. Let's see how it goes. I have written a little bit of a narrative which you can actually see uh, to tell you generally what the story is about and I hope you really enjoy it. What you will see is the production of the caricature from start to finish during the day, uh, what I'm actually doing in my breaks and plus also who I'm having a chat with. Just a brief explanation, what I do is I actually study the person who is the subject of the drawing and I learn something about their characteristics and their interests and I sketch it out into a notebook, I formulate my ideas from my imagination and then I start drawing. There's no tricks, there's no computer tricks here at all, this is just pure traditional art. As you can see, it's pretty shocking weather this morning, so I've actually decided to uh, undertake this particular commission. It's for a friend of mine called Alan, and his brother is having a very special birthday. However, he's also a very keen motorcyclist and a very keen musician, and he has a very special guitar. So I'm going to be asking Alan if he can actually give me the background to this guitar and explain a few things to me. Anyway, uh, my wife has kindly popped me around to Alan because um, usually when I do pop around there, uh, he's a little bit of a whiskey connoisseur and he does actually make me feel quite at home. So um, I'm actually stood here with Alan at the moment and um, and Alan I just wanted to ask you a question about the full guitar and uh, can you just give me some sort of background on it? Certainly the full were a, the full were a Dutch art collective who were very very famous in the 60s and 70s and they worked Firstly with the Hollies and then with Procol Harum and then they moved on to the Beatles. In fact, they designed the three-story high mural on the Apple building. That's uh, really fascinating. I really did uh, love that psychedelic period in the 60s. The colours were amazing. Anyway, um, going slightly off piste here just for a moment, um, I'm actually showing in this interlude here uh, some examples of what I'm doing during the day whilst I'm actually producing this drawing. So when I actually have a break and I go off for coffee or tea or, or whatever and then feeding the chickens and also going to pick up the eggs and making sure that uh, the predators haven't stolen the eggs and so on. So just bear with me and uh, we'll come back to Alan then. You're a naughty boy. Through that door. Go on. Go on. That's it. Right. There you go. That's it. Right, uh, sorry about that, Alan. Um, can we just carry on talking about uh, The Fall guitar? Yeah, uh, okay, so the Dutch art collective The Fall uh, were responsible for the three-storey high uh, Apple building mural in Savile Row, famously, but probably the, the most well-known thing they ever did was the uh, Clapton SG guitar, the Gibson SG. Yeah, those colours are pretty amazing, aren't they? Nowadays, uh, you can buy a copy made by Luthier. Luthier is a guitar maker.
an original would cost thousands and thousands. Right, I did actually have a quick look on the internet at these, and you also sent over a, a photograph to me yeah. of one of these guitars. But I've also seen a photograph of uh, your brother stood there with a guitar, and every time I've actually looked at one of these, the, the painting that is actually depicted on there is always slightly different. Yes, these guitars are normally different, and Malcolm has now managed to find a luthier in London who's got one, and it's, uh, he's, he's now the proud possessor of a Gibson SG Fool, and it's the latest addition to his guitar collection. Yeah, I can see that's a pretty impressive uh, guitar collection he's got there, actually. You can see, um, actually, when I'm drawing it here, that it's not absolutely precise. Um, I'm obviously using a certain amount of artistic license, but I'm actually doing my best to get it as close as possible to the guitar uh, that your brother actually does own. As I'm sure you appreciate, there's a tremendous amount of preparation in producing something like this. And of course, uh, there is no room for error. So I have got quite a high concentration level that's actually going on. I don't really like to be disturbed too much. I sort of get lost in my own environment. So when it's at this stage, as you can see, I'm moving rapidly towards the end. And it's really quite exciting. It's like putting the icing on the cake. Thank you. Of course, naturally, I've got to take breaks and I've got to rest my eyes. I've got to cast them to the horizon and exercise my optic muscles to look after them. And of course, the dog's tail has got to keep wagging. When I'm at this stage of the caricature, I really am accelerating and I, re I feel as if I'm actually like an athlete sprinting down the final hundred meters. Right, there you go. I've thoroughly enjoyed doing this. And um, there you go, Alan. You happy with that? Well, given the constraints of this type of artwork, this being a caricature, Normsk, you've done a great job. Well done. Cheers, mate. Thanks. I look forward to the next whiskey. Um, I'll ask my wife if she wouldn't mind picking me up. Thank you everybody for watching this video blog. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. Anyway, please feel free to watch me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, because your friendship is always welcome. This has been a Normsk production and watch out for my next natterings.